So welcome everyone uh, to my channel today. Um, today I am going to talk about uh, pivot tables, uh, which is a very handy function for the data analysis. So to perform a data analysis, I have chosen um, an example for a one week sale for smartphones of five different brands. That means I will start, uh, for example, from Monday, which is 16th of March, uh, in that case, for just for demonstration, and we will go till the end of the week. And you can see um, there are five columns starting from a date, product, that is uh, the brand name, and then quantities, how many quantities for each product is sold out every day, and then price per unit. And in the end, uh, the last column is representing the earnings. So the use of pivot tables is, uh, is very useful uh, either if you are using Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel sheet or in, in that case I'm using WPS spreadsheet you know and uh, the usage is uh, actually very simple uh, and you don't have to bother about scrolling through each column or rows and to get uh, the earnings or the number of sales you have made every day for each product which is quite tedious if you really have large data sets so example is uh, very simple you just click one of your data uh, data cell range and go to the insert menu and then you click the pivot table button once you click that um, as you can see by because you have previously clicked in one of the data cell ranges so the pivot table window is already spanning your whole data cell range so if you want you can exclude uh, the one of the columns which you are not interested in but in my case i have chosen to stay or choose the whole data cell range and then i have chosen for the existing worksheet to get a pivot table report yeah so once I, I click that, you can see there is a window on the right side of my data worksheet, uh, which is showing that uh, to build a report, I have to choose uh, fields from my uh, pivot table. And on the right side, you are seeing this field list. And you can assign all these uh, field lists to several parameters or several filters. Meaning, um, if uh, in our case, uh, we are interested in also knowing the earnings of products, so we just click the earning uh, field and we will add it, uh, for example, to the to the values uh, to the values uh, area. And you can see for each product, it is showing me the earnings. And you can now notice that if you have, we are doing this analysis uh, just explicitly and going through each column or each row to get the sale of each product. Uh, for the whole week and every day you can imagine it's very it's not so easy task and especially if you are doing for the whole month or the whole year and you have a large database of different items it's not really an easy stuff so um, I would um, I would say this is the use of pivot tables is uh, is really a very useful function um, even though today nowadays the, with, the, with the advent of different programming languages like Python, R, MATLAB, Pandas they are very very powerful handy tools but still as an Excel or spreadsheet or a user uh, one should also um, have a deep or basic know-how of using the pivot table function it's um, very important to have your data analysis and as you can see I'm, I am also demonstrating uh, here that if you wanted to add some more columns or some more filters in your pivot table area you can do that pretty easily right so uh, you can even do uh, for each product you can have an uh, you can add a date uh, column you can add number of earnings and every day or you could also um, add a filter in terms of um, in terms of your earnings uh, you have made for each product so it's really versatile and uh, in, for example in in case of earnings you can add the earnings column two times so you can say now the earnings which i have made just show me the amount and on in parallel you can add a second column with earnings and that can also show you for example in terms of percentage so how much you have made um, the earnings uh, for your product right so uh, the rest is all also i would say it's almost uh, self-explanatory and um, you could also um, add other functions um, and uh, the use of uh, pivot tables um, 
as i'm also repeating once again is an um, is an excellent um, function uh for doing uh, your data analysis the way you want and how you really want it to have your data it's really flexible you can add your filters you could actually shuffle uh, uh, the areas or the filters between different areas you could add it to your to your uh, columns to your values so it's really cool another important feature is uh, that you can also add pivot charts uh, so which is also very um, handy in terms of using in your, in your presentations and if you wanted to show you to your to your management because they are always mostly interested in numbers right so um, you could also plot it in this way and you can see the 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 color or in this pie chart uh, each area or just sector with different colors is showing the earnings for your product for the whole week right so um, and you can also um, extend this chart by by the use of uh, more information and you can also filter out uh, uh, the variables like uh, the brand for example you could filter out if you are interested in showing the whole brands like five different mobile smartphones we have chosen and if you are just interested in knowing the comparison of between two uh, mobiles or smartphones then you can just uh, choose it from your filters so it's really good and um, i think that's it from from my side now and uh, now i would like to know from you guys um, if you have uh, any comments uh, then just write it in the comment section and i will also encourage you if you are not using if you don't know about this function so please uh, use it in your in your daily life um, in your daily work office work or personal stuff which you are doing uh, and um, once again i'm repeating this the fun this functionality is uh, should apply also to microsoft excel sheet or uh, if you are using the google sheets um, and uh, i've also already demonstrated here the uh, this the use of pivot tables for the data analysis using wps spreadsheet so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the next uh, incoming videos bye bye